I'm Gordon Corman. I'm the author of 82 books for kids and teens. My first book was actually written by mistake when I was in seventh grade. It was my seventh grade English project. Uh, in my school, the track and field coach had to teach English, uh, and we got him. So nice guy, but when it came to teaching writing, he sort of didn't know what to tell us to do, and he kind of drew a blank, and he stood there saying, okay, work on whatever you want for the rest of the year. Uh, it was February, so we had a class period a day from February to the end of the year, and that was how I wrote my first book, This Can't Be Happening at McDonald Hall. I, I think the reason why I wrote for kids was not intentional. I was so young when I got started writing, I didn't really plan to write for any audience. I just wrote what I thought would be a great book, and that's who kind of it ended up being for, you know. Uh, and then as I got older, I continued to write in the genre that I already knew. So I just sort of stayed that way. Um, but it was very natural. I, I didn't really have a sense of target age group because when I wrote my first book, I was really just trying not to flunk seventh grade English. I've gotten more disciplined as I've gotten older, you know, because I've gone through, I've you know, really grown up kind of writing these books. Uh, it was certainly just a summer job when I first got started throughout high school and college, and it was really, really hard for me to be disciplined uh, when I was first out of college, and it's like, ta-da, you're, you're a full-time writer. But uh, I've gotten better because I've had to get better. You know, fear is an excellent uh, teacher when it comes to hitting your deadlines. So now I think what I do is I just basically build my daily schedule around my family. You know, uh, my youngest son, his bus picks him up at 8.40. I put him on that bus, I boot up my computer, and that's my day. You know, and I, I work. I mean, it's not 100% writing, but I mean, I am very rarely done before 5.30 or 6. Uh, so it is like a full-time job for me. You know, I was in fourth grade when Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing came out, and I think that that really sent a message to me at a very young age. It's like, wow, they, there's a whole book written for people just like me. Uh, and I love that kind of classic, old-school, middle grade novel. Judy Bloom, Old Beverly Cleary, The Great Brain series, Henry Reed's Big Show, The Mad Scientist Club. Uh, and I think that was really clutch for me just because when I was in seventh grade and our teacher gave us carte blanche to work on whatever we wanted, um, it was very, very natural for me to write a classic middle grade novel. Um, so I think in a lot of ways, if it wasn't for the middle grade novel, I, I would not have ever started, started writing.